Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anand Brand Wax Deers. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand Brand Wax Deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand Brand Wax Deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with with Anand Brand Wax Deals. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's Kitchen is a Chata Kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. The Festival of Lights glows once again in many nations. Let's take a trip and find the interesting variations. Some are quiet and simple and others filled with family and friends. Join us now for Diwali Passport on WESN. It's time to fly to another interesting destination. Less than 60 years ago, it was a swamp, but today it is one of the world's premier cities, Singapore. With the largest port in Southeast Asia and one of the busiest in the world, this city-state consists of the diamond-shaped Singapore Island and some 60 small islands. The city may seem very Chinese from a glance, but Singapore's population of less than 6 million people is multiracial and multicultural with Chinese, Malays and Indians. Not surprisingly, Buddhism is the most widely practiced religion, followed by Christianity, Islam, Taoism and Hinduism. One of the festivals that unite the people irrespective of their religion and nationality is Diwali. Diwali in Singapore begins weeks in advance with people shopping at the various bazaars and the glittery Diwali Festival Village for new clothing, goods and decorations. On the actual day, Singaporean Hindus get up early in the morning to take the ritual oil bath, which we came across before. Then they dress in brightly colored clothing, as dark clothing is considered inauspicious. Of course, some people do the usual home devotions. Others visit one of the 18 temples for puja, the most popular being the Virama Kali Aman Temple. Hindus also cook traditional food and sweets and celebrate with elaborate light and candle decorations, creating a beautiful spectacle as the night draws in. By the way, to avoid noise pollution, firecrackers are not sold and only sparklers can be bought. Each doorway boasts of a beautiful Ranguli decoration made from flower, rice or flower petals. These are created to welcome the goddess and the Lord deities into their home so that they can bless the household for the year ahead. Singapore is known for celebrating major festivals by decorating with elaborate street lights and there are a few main spots where Diwali is concentrated. Singaporean Hindus are majority from Tamil Nadu in India and coinciding with Diwali observances, there is the Silver Chariot Procession held twice in the lead-up to Diwali. Devotees tow a silver chariot that houses an effigy of the goddess Draupadi all the way from the Sri Mari Aman Temple in Chinatown to Little India. About a week before the big day, the Sri Mari Aman Temple hosts what is known as Thimiti, a Hindu festival originating in Tamil Nadu, South India. A pundit would lead thousands of men to the temple where they would walk on burning charcoal as a tribute to the goddess Draupadi. Non-Hindus and non-Indians also take part. On Diwali day, children accompanied by parents will go to an open area to light the sparklers since most of the people live in high-rise apartments. Little India on Serangoon Road is decorated with lights, garlands and colorful arches. It is the commercial center of the local Indian community. There are also huge statues of elephants and peacocks across Little India since in Hindu tradition, 
Elephants stand for royalty and abundance, while peacocks symbolize victory, love and wisdom. And that's our visit to Singapore. I'm Shamji. Join us again for another episode of the Wali Passport here on WESN. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious pira and ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's ladu and pira mitai mix. Now ma's kitchen is a chata kitchen. Now available gulab jamun instant mitai mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with Anand Brand Wax Deals. Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anand Brand Wax Deals.